Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel admin panel development beginner tutorial and this is our part 11. Inside this video session guys, we are going to set our dashboard page and our routes inside this application. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get a clear concept about part number 11. So far guys, basically what we have completed, if you go to browser, this is the admin panel so far we have set at our local host. Right now it is only HTML, we have set only a few routes to make this application. So inside this dashboard page, if you have set, then I think that you are getting this as the HTML page. So inside this HTML dashboard page, we have multiple widgets as you can see that calendar, notifications, like graph and these are the matrix. But remember, we are going to make a school management application in small case, okay? So we don't want these orders, these graphs, something like this scalar graph, these calendars, we don't want these things. So we have to remove these things also. And also, if I click on any of these links like add section, as we can see that we are redirecting on index.html, we have to set a proper route for that. So back to editor. This is the application so far we have developed inside this playlist. All the codes what we have done for this application we have committed all the codes to this github repository. You can just download by going to this link. Back to editor. Now inside this application so far we have developed inside HTTP these are the controllers so, so far we have developed like admin controller, admin home, class section and so many more things. So basically for the firstly we have to just customize this HTML page of this dashboard. Okay, so back to editor. Now inside our routes folder, first we have to find about the file for that. So web.php, inside this file admin home controller, inside that controller we have a method called dashboard. So back to our controller section. This is admin home controller. Inside this file, we have a method called dashboard. Inside this dashboard, this is the view file that we have attached, which is inside admin folder and views folder. So back to our resources folder. Inside this folder, we have a views folder. Inside that views, we have a file called and inside admin.views.dashboard. So inside this admin.views and this is our dashboard page. So basically we have to customize this HTML layout because we don't want about much more things inside this application. Okay, so first of all we have to just keep these things matrix because we are going to show inside here like all classes, all faculties, total students. So these are the things that we have to kept inside this dashboard else we have to remove all the things. So back to top. So these are the widgets one. 2, 3 and 4. These are the widgets like D class 4. This is we have to keep that. And if I try to remove this D class row, so select all these things. And I am going to delete all the things, reload this home page and as we know guys that we have removed all the unnecessary things from our dashboard page. These are the matrices basically contains if you go to class these are the class sections like total classes, total faculties, total students and one more matrix we will add. Back to editor. Now inside these fours, what we have to do, we have to just rename all these things. So let's say that total sections or just we have to keep total sections. Inside this total sections, we have to show the count like section A, B, C, D means how many sections we have in our school. Now move down. Inside here we have to keep information of let's say total classes. So this is let's say total classes. Inside this we have to remove this person symbol and right now we have no class so this is basically zero value for that. We will convert all these values like zero, zero to dynamic value in our upcoming videos. So this is for the classes. Scroll down and I'm going to put about let's say right now it is zero and this is for let's say total faculties and if we go up this is about uppercase go up 
and all we have done so last one actually basically contains the information about the total number of students so zero let's say that total students okay so if I save this file reload this browser and all we have the information like total sections total classes total faculties and total students all we have to change all these values according to our need in our upcoming videos when we create about the values for these things now what we have to do next we have to set our routes for these sections like class if you go inside add section we have no more co index.html so how can we redirect these pages to a proper actually page okay so back to editor open up web.php because this is the main file for our routes configuration so let's say that here are let's say classes routes okay and here we are going to make our something called faculty routes this is also in small case so routes similarly we have to make for our students routes okay student routes firstly inside this class routes let's say that route get and if we put suppose list classes list classes this this is the thing that actually we got from our URL after getting these things how can we redirect to a method of a controller so let's say that remember guys we have created a controller basically for the classes section and this is for the class section or we have created for the class itself also so if we back to browser inside this class section we are going to create our route for this section it means that we are going to use this class section controller okay so this is not about list classes this is about list sections okay this is about list sections and we are going to make the default page when we click on these add sections or list section so basically when we click on add section we have to make as add section okay and if you click click on this list sections it means that we have to open our list sections now after getting these two things after getting these two routes we have to redirect on let's say class section controller this is the controller we are going to use that inside this controller we have to make different different methods for these routes so for the add section add the rate after add the rate we have to provide the method name so what basically we will use for the method so this is all about add section so let's add school section or let's say simple add school section okay this is the method inside this controller we will redirect to this method after getting this is as a route okay now inside this controller after getting list sections we have to lay list school section okay so I'm going to copy this method open up our class section controller and I'm going to remove all these previous things because this is default generated by our Laravel so let's say that public let's say function and this is the function name basically this is the function to create or let's say that add class sections now next what we have to make as a method so this is the method so list school sections so copy this name say public function and this is our function name and this is function basically to list all created class sections all we have done about the two routes okay only we have to put these routes to our HTML page now basically to use these routes for HTML for a redirection we have multiple ways in our Laravel so we are going to learn about two different methods so first of all we are going to use as a URL class so if I scroll down because this basically we are going to actually attach our routes with this left sidebar by the help of these routes actually we will redirect to these sections so if I scroll down inside resources folder inside this admin and layouts folder we have separated a file if you have remembered like left sidebar.blade.php and if suppose we are going to attach our route this add section so first of all we have to find that 
and uh, I think that add section this is the route so currently it is pointing to index.html so I am going to remove that and we have to attach a route so what basically we have created for that so this is route called add section so copy this route go to file and let's say that we are going to use as the URL class so URL this is two method inside this two method just inside single quote or double quotes we have to put our route so this is our route called add section so by clicking on add section we will be redirected inside add section okay so if I save this file reload this browser and if I click on add section this is the route that we have created so if I set a proper message so let's say that echo welcome to class section later on we will set some views file so right now let's only echo okay so if I reload this page this is the message that we have set so we have seen about the first method of redirection by using this URL so what will we have inside the alternative way so inside the alternative way or something called we have to name all the routes to make as a named routes so we have to use a method called name inside this name we have to pass a parameter so let's say that this is the route about add section so let's say that add class section this is the name of this route so basically it is termed as named routes so if I copy this name go to our HTML page and if I make just remove these things and let's say that route and we have to provide inside this route function about this route name so this name actually points what we have created to our route so just save this file go to home page reload this section so if I click on this add section as we can see that we actually redirected on the same page so basically guys we have seen about the two different ways to attach our routes with the HTML page so let's make some of the different different routes for our all sections so if I termed as a named parameter for let's say that this is for the list class section save this file and also before saving let's remove this as extra as from here or termed as as okay so this is also a named route so if I copy this name go to our HTML page and let me find about the list class sections and this is all about list sections so we have to let's say that route inside this route function this is basically a blade function we have to pass as a named parameter so go here and before that let's make a simple line so echo and let's say that welcome to list classes or oh, this is about list class sections okay save this file go to browser and if I go to the dashboard reload this page I'm going to click on the second so this is about the list class section so basically guys by the help of this video session actually we understood that how can we set up our routes for all the pages that we have created inside Laravel admin panel so back to dashboard now inside this editor inside our route wave.php file this is a simple thing that we have to do to set up our routes so in our upcoming videos guys means since next part we actually set all the routes for this class like add class list classes or faculties and also for the students we will do all these route setting in our upcoming videos and also we have to set some of the views instead of this simple message right now we have actually just echo simple message but we have to actually render a view according to that because as we know that this is add section it means that we have to show a form this is list section it means that we have to show a data table so these are the concepts we will implement in our upcoming videos so I hope that this video session will be mindful helpful to you so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day.